All right, I'm gonna we're gonna I'm gonna show you how, an easy way to post pictures to the board. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a new post, um, add topic. I'm just gonna call this more photos. Whoops, if I could spell it right. And come down here, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna type insert photo below. I'm gonna hit enter. And then I'm going to go to Photo Bucket, which I already have open. I'm going to click on one of these pictures in Photo Bucket. This is one of our members. The picture is going to open up over here. And then I'm going to go over here where it says Direct Link. And I'm going to click on that. And if you noticed, it said Copied. So it's copied to my, my clipboard automatically for me. Um, then I'm going to go back to my post. And I'm going to right click paste yes so now this is the direct link on photo bucket to the album to, to the picture that I wanted to put in the album so I can um, let me hit enter and then I'm just gonna add text to this picture and I'm gonna hit enter about three times maybe four times I'm gonna insert another picture so I'm going to go back to Photo Bucket. We hit the back button here. This time we'll pick another picture. Click it to get it to open up. Now actually that picture is kind of small. So I'm not going to use that one. Let me see if we can find something that's not so small. We'll pick this one here. Alright. That's better. We got the picture open over here. I'm going to come over here and click click on that direct link it copied it that happens very quickly so you gotta watch quickly um, back to backyard growers I'm going to insert the picture paste hit enter this is my second photo alright now this time I'm going to go elsewhere on the internet and find a photo so we'll go to some place that I'm familiar with let's go to freeplants.com and I'm going to open up this picture of my book and I'll take this picture right here save picture as I don't think I want to do that sorry didn't want to do that um, I can't copy it, so I'm going to go to the properties, and this is the direct link to that particular picture right here. Cancel that. I copied that to my clipboard. Now I'm going to go back to Backyard Growers. Now this time I'm going to use the Insert Photo button, which is right here. Insert Edit Image. And click on that, and then Image URL. I'm going to paste that right here. All right, now that's the URL for the, the picture of the front of my book. And you have some options here, and I'm not going to do anything with that. You can experiment with that stuff yourself. But all I want to do is put the picture of the book in there. So I'm going to click Insert, and then I'm going to hit Enter, and just type Book Front Cover. Okay. So I've got now that so I got two photos from Photo Bucket and then I've got one that I took from my website and if you were going to use a photo that's hosted anywhere else that's pretty much how you would do it and I'm going to hit the post button and let's see what this looks like. All right, you see I've got three pictures. They're very clean. There's no HTML code. This one and if I click on it and enlarge it, click it to make it smaller. Same thing here. Same thing here. It worked very, very nice. So I've got, and then, so after I put the picture in, I hit enter and I put the, tix, the, the, the text below the picture, but it shifted it up to the right. So as long as you know that's what's going to happen, you should be fine. I don't think that you want to edit your post. Um, if you try and edit your post, that's when all kinds of things go crazy. So if you don't like it, 
if you post something and you don't like it, then you're, you're probably better off to just delete everything in the post and start over. But um, I think if you get good at it, you, you won't have any problems if you follow the steps that I've done here. So basically, that's, you know, you will go back to the, back to the board. This is the post that I just put up. Um, more photos, click on that. That's going to bring up my the three that I posted. So very, very simple to use. Host your, your photos on Photo Bucket and then insert them exactly as I did here. Do not try and host them on the site here because that's going to create all kinds of size problems because there are size limitations. People who are having trouble with their avatar photo. The avatar photo has to be no more than 50 pixels wide, but there's also a file size requirement. So you, you, if you're having problems, and you may have to reduce the resolution of that picture down. I would reduce it down to 72 dots per inch. Um, you know, today your digital cameras take very, very high resolution pictures, which is great. But when you're trying to display them on a computer monitor, you really can't display anything better than 72 dpi or 72 dots per inch and the one that you, you're trying to use is probably thousands of dots per inch one of the things that photo bucket does is when you upload them i'm pretty sure that they change the resolution as they are being uploaded which makes it very easy that's why we use photo bucket because they are in the business of hosting photos and they make it very very easy for us. so hopefully this video will help you as far as inserting uh, photos into your your post. So thanks a lot.